All right, today I wanted to do a quick video on making your own copper bus bars. This, I guess, would apply to nickel or any other material you might use for a bus bar. The reason why I'm doing it this way instead of just buying pre made bus bars is that there aren't any pre made bus bars that fit my cell configurations. Since this is a triangle shaped pack i had to make some funky cell groupings uh, so i need to custom make my own bus bars i'm using 21 700 cells but the same principle applies to really any cylindrical cells with plastic cell holders basically i'm just using the cell holders to create a stencil of the cell group uh, tracing that out on the copper and then cutting it out with some regular old scissors I hope this is helpful to anyone thinking of doing the same thing. I wasn't able to really find any videos on this on YouTube. Um, so I thought I'd put this out here for anyone who's in the same boat. Um, there are, of course, other ways to do this. I mean, I know some of the guys out there are using CAD software to model their um, cell groups and create you know 3d ver 3d files of their bus bars and then using like a cnc cutter or um, a laser cutter to cut the bus bars out um so yeah if you have access to that equipment and have that knowledge for sure check into that if you don't um that's what this is for so Enjoy, and let me know if you have any questions. Originally, I wasn't going to include the actually welding the bus bar onto the pack in this video, but um, might as well throw it on here. I, I might do a build video for this battery. I don't think I recorded like every step or anything, but I think I got enough footage to to show most of it. Keep in mind, this is like my fourth or fifth battery pack ever, so definitely not 
a professional yet. This is my first one using copper nickel sandwich, which is where you put the copper on top of the cells and then you place a little tab of nickel or nickel plated steel, which I think the latter works better for this. So you put a little piece of that on top and basically it's, it's just like a catalyst for the weld. So, um, the nickel strip won't be actually carrying any current. I think it adds a tiny bit of resistance, but it's really hard to weld copper directly to the cells. So the nickel strip sort of facilitates that process.